What's up guys, Freya from The Happy Canvas here and today I'm going to do a little bit of a different video to the stuff that we usually do. I'm going to do a review of some sort of techie bits that I got um, for Christmas because I'm very fortunate and I got some really nice things so I'll probably do them in separate videos but today I am going to show you my lovely Canon 1.8 50mm lens because I was very 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 excited to get this. There we go, so that's like it more in focus. And as you can see, it's absolutely tiny. It doesn't weigh much either, um, which some people will say it makes it feel a little bit cheap. I guess it is, but to be fair, like it is amazing value for money. Because the step up model from this, which is the um, 1.4 lens, is around sort of 200, 300 pounds I've seen on Amazon. And this, you can get it for 80 quid um, at one of, one of the cheapest ends. And so I think like that's a huge step up just for um, the yeah, F1.4, even though it is a little bit sharper and obviously you can go down to um, a lower aperture. But to be honest, what I'm using it for, like I don't really need to go down to such, um, to, to 1.4, I think 1.8 has been absolutely great. Um, especially on Boxing Day, we go to my nan's house and it's all lovely and cosy in there, but the lighting is really, really orange. And usually with my sort of standard 18 to 55 lens that I just always use because I like the zoom on it, it's handy to have, like it's light, it's small. Um, but I can't really capture many things without getting a lot of motion blur. Um, but with this lens, I found that I could capture, even when people are moving, like in that really sort of awful photography lighting, um, that I could capture them and I got some quite nice pictures. Um, I also think that the f for the um, focus you get a really nice bookie in the background, um, so like all the little light circles for people that don't know. Um, and I think that, that actually adds a really nice sort of artistic effect to the pictures and I have some pictures that I'll pop in here um, to illustrate that. The one thing that I do find a bit odd about the lens is when I put it on my camera I go straight away to zoom and obviously because it's a fixed 50mm like I can't do that so it has taken me a little bit of getting used to that I have to sort of move back from my subject, can't have a wide angle and move forward so this is kind of more my portrait lens, it wouldn't be my sort of standard lens that I'd always use on my camera but it's still really great for, I do a lot of portrait shots because of photography at school and that's like my favourite, my favourite style of photography so it has been really useful for going on shoot. One thing that I've also seen in a lot of other reviews is that people find that the um, focus ring is quite loose and as you can see here it does glide quite smoothly and I guess it could feel quite loose if you're using if you're used to using like expensive cameras um, but honestly like it's really nice and quick on also focus it's great you've got the little button here and here in my personal opinion I don't think it's that bad like the looseness doesn't bother me um, it's not something that I'm really going to pick up on but to be honest I'm not used to using like really expensive lenses um, and other people say it's quite noisy as well when you focus it on um, manual focus. There's a cat in the background. Hello baby cutie. Yeah, I'm a bit of a crazy cat lady. Sorry. Yeah, as I was saying before, I was really interrupted by my cat. Um, some people think it's quite um, noisy on also focus. To be honest, I haven't noticed it. I haven't filmed with it yet, so it could possibly be a little bit noisy when I'm using it to film with. But I don't think it's any louder than my 1855 lens and um, to be honest that isn't exactly loud but it isn't really something I'm going to pick up on. So here are just a few of the images I've taken with this lens. I really love the one on my cat because you can see like her face is really sharply in focus and it kind of drifts out more towards the background and I also love the slight bokeh you can see in some of these pictures because I think it makes it a little bit more arty and it's a bit different to like your normal bog standard lens. So overall in my opinion I think this is a really great lens. If you're sort of a starting out photographer and you don't really have that much money to spend on a lens, I would recommend getting this one just as a sort of in your camera kit bag. Um, it's really great for sort of portrait shots, getting a bit closer to your subject because it's the 1.8. Um, but if you have a lot more money to spend, you'd obviously go for the 1.4 um, or just go for sort of a macro lens or maybe even a pancake lens. Um, so honestly, I think it's really great for sort of more amateur um, photographers, people that aren't necessarily professional or are just doing it for a hobby um, and aren't going to sort of invest loads and loads and loads of money into it. So thank you for watching. I'll be doing some more of these reviews over the next coming weeks because I've got a load of sort of techie bits that I want to share with you and see your opinions of. So thank you for watching. Bye bye.